Let's continue with something hard and metallic that gets straight to the point. No, not a bang on the head with a large poker, but a report instead on Metallica in Germany. For his, the platinum-selling messiahs of metal madness are back with us with a marvelous album they have imaginatively named Metallica. Well, at least it's a lot friendlier sounding than their first, which was called Kill Them All. Anyway, we got to speak with Lars Ulrich, the Danish band drummer and mastermind of the band. A drummer who's a mastermind <laughs> sounds like a contradiction in terms to be, but Lars proved to be an exception to the rule, fielding your questions with the grace and ease of a seasoned tennis pro, something he almost became before joining the board. So, what more can I say? <laughs> Except uh, grab on to your feelings, viewers. Here is Metallica. <laughs> Metallica's fourth album was produced by Bob Roak, who's worked with Bon Jovi, Motley Crue and The Cult. It sold three million copies in the USA during the first month of its release. Lars Ulrich, drummer and leader of Metallica, thinks its success is not simply due to the change of producer, but also change in attitude by the band. A year ago when we sat down to write these songs, we wanted to write some simpler songs and to get a little more to the point. And I think that we just took that train of thought into the album cover, we could simplify that, we could simplify the title and so on, and and just keep everything really, really basic and simple, and just try and stay away from some of those silly things that other metal bands get themselves involved in. <laughs> bands like the Scorpions, Extreme and Guns N' Roses have been discovering that releasing a ballad can also bring chart success. Lush isn't jumping on this particular bandwagon, but that doesn't mean that Metallica don't like a good slow number. We've played ballads for seven years because we like playing some more melodic things, but we've never sat down and written a ballad to get on the radio or get some kind of hit or anything like that. So, you know, whether John Bon Jovi sits down and writes a ballad because he wants to sell a lot of records or because he really likes to play that i can't answer that ask john bon jovi but speaking on behalf of metallica it's something that we like to do and that's why you know it, it's one side of us musically that needs to come out you know what i mean Metallica performing at this year's Monsters of Rock concert in Mainz near Frankfurt, the annual Headbangers get together. Even if heavy metal's not your thing, Lars thinks people should give it a chance. I think most people outside the world of heavy metal will look inside the world of heavy metal and make some very brief conclusions without really looking beyond the surface. You know, they'll look at a band like Slayer and say, oh, Satanist lyrics, or look at a band like poison and say oh sexist or whatever and, and then they'll they'll put those tags on everybody do you know what i mean and i think that it's just not fair because there are a lot of bands that have something a little different to offer than what the overall thing that always gets put on in this and uh, i just wish people outside the world of heavy metal would do a little more investigation before they spoke up they've won awards and critics love them but Lash isn't one to go on about it it's something that I'll talk about when asked but and it's something that I'm, I'm sure I'm proud of but it's not something that I need to walk around and flaunt um, I think uh, we've been very lucky in the fact that a lot of critics seem to really appreciate what Metallica does that they like the fact that we are the band that maybe goes around some of the cliches that um, other metal bands seem to get themselves trapped in and um you know so far two grammys you know i'm not complaining <laughs> <laughs>